Speaking of, dude, you want to go into a little NFT basic for Let's for my like... for my guy, homegrown well? Of course. Everyone wants to know what NFTs are so they can explain it to their aunt and uncle at Thanksgiving. Let's uh first give me your definition, then I'll look up what other people's definitions are. Okay. Um you know it's funny before I hop into my definition, the 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 very true definition <laughs> of NFT, like being a token that's attached to something, <laughs> blah blah blah. I haven't heard that definition since like January. <laughs> of of something being kind of owned and, and not art but like a piece, yeah. piece no, of code like, that makes something uh solely unique or like the way the way you first describe it like you can only trade this token for this piece of digital art like fungibility non-fungibility give, give me a sentence for a five-year-old try okay um nft is a way to represent that there is only a certain amount of a digital thing mm -hmm. and it's like it's like the law it's the code it can't be changed um yes there's there's better words that can make it even simpler that i'm going to find but i'm going to read a definition of it first of what okay. investopedia says all right investopedia says non-fungible tokens are nfts are a cryptographic asset on blockchain with unique identification codes and metadata that distinguish them from each other. Unlike cryptocurrencies, they cannot be traded or exchanged at equivalency. This differs from fungible tokens like cryptocurrencies, which are identical to each other and therefore can be used as a medium for commercial transactions. Okay, dumb that down a lot. NFTs are unique cryptographic tokens that exist on a blockchain and cannot be replicated. Um... This is, this is my working sentence, and I'll have it better in the future. But NFTs, non-fungible token, is a piece of code that proves, I want to say uniqueness, but that still doesn't get across the information good. I also want to say digital scarcity, but that also doesn't give you the idea well enough. What have you said? An NFT is a way to prove that your digital product is one of a kind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's solid. Yeah. Um, so if you have a card, a, a physical trading card um, with a signature by Michael Jordan on it, there's only one of that because you can only make one physical card in the world and you especially know it's it's one of one because it only has it has that signature um you can kind of validate a physical trading card by people I, but like if you have a card and i write john on it this is the only card in the world that has the word john on it in the digital world you couldn't really verify uniqueness of anything uh you could save an image and it's just an image is an image is an image. It, it, it'll say image.jpg. Um, people made some technology, and now there's code that is uh, interacting with blockchain to verify ownership and uniqueness of something online. But, Ricker, yeah, yeah. how is that any different than me just pressing right-click save? Like... I can save that picture of a Michael Jordan trading card and have it just like you. Not really. You can you can enjoy the picture, but this code via blockchain is the only code that says this piece of digital thing uh, belongs to my address or my identity online. Uh, Still not a uh, not the best answer to that. I'll work on that. But I like your sentence. Again. NFT, say it again. I already forgot it. NFT, NFT is a way uniqueness. to prove that your digital product is one of a kind. Yes. In the world where anything can be replicated for free, mm -hmm. we need a way to prove scarcity. Yeah. The scarcity thing is also something I'm like, 
is the words that pop up, but it's not the best answer, you know. Those in the video game realm and those like younger people in general have a way easier time grasping the yeah. overall picture. Yeah. I mean it, it all stems from games, man. The gaming the gaming thing of of it all, because gaming is very digital. And if you have that digital mindset, you're an internet kid, it comes a little quicker. Um like I said, trading cards is kind of a good example for physical stuff. Um, like a house, dude. If you have a deed to a house, <clears throat> you t technically own that house. You could even say that it's more like real ownership via code than like an ownership of a house or land. Also right. because like everyone can see your digital deed. Yeah, but it's also a little less like theory eyes theory like i have i have paper that says i own this piece of land but do i yeah i could just rip it and say oh, <laughs> i own it yeah uh, i wish now. i could I take it by force like, i wish i could it? simplify like what the code actually does i think i'll hop into that and see if i can make some sentences that makes that easier like literally how it works um, simplify what the code does yeah because i can i can say like this code makes verify something is one of one and unique that is a digital asset but like i can't say how why that happens i saw a really good tiktok explaining it let me see if i can remember it so this guy was like imagine you're in a classroom with like 10 people and you have i don't know a toothpick or something um something that's like easy to replicate and you want to like share your toothpick with everyone in the class. So you like pass your toothpick to the person next to you, but you say, all right, when you grab my toothpick, you have to write your name on the board so that everybody can see that you have my toothpick. So as the toothpick gets passed around, people write, kids write their name on the board. And then the toothpick gets passed back to the person and the person has the toothpick again. But another person in the class is like, wait, no, this is your toothpick. This is the original one. I was hiding it. And then the guy is like, okay, well, let's just refer back to the board and see, like, go down the chain. Oh, wait, no, this is my toothpick. Cause like we can verify the, mm -hmm. there's the trail a, of it. There's a record of a trail of an asset. Yeah. Okay. That gets there. I still want to, first, I kind of like want the explicit to like, techie techie stuff of what the code does how it interacts with blockchain and be able to spit that out for a five-year-old but yeah that's a good that's a good uh representation that's, that's kind of just blockchain tech yeah um, of having a verified record by other people verifying it with computers so you have a record um a record i hope that helps mr homegrown wealth so it was a little long drawn and uh, we got to a, a succinct sentence towards the end, but it, it verifies digital uniqueness. It's all about education here in the space. We're all about oh, educating. Learning. learning. Everybody. 